pressure coming through. One meter rest layering wireframe coming your way over. The 2012-2013 Vendée Globe was a record-breaking edition. The highest speed, the youngest winner, and the biggest global media coverage of the race to date. Satellite imagery coming through. Giro del Mont. I've never seen this in sailing before. I've never seen this in sport before. Listen to them. You and you learn a lot of things. You're just I write a lot. Ich schreibe viel. 65 TV channels transmitted the event in 190 countries. Senza scalo né assistenza, in solitario. Vamos ahora al océano, los barcos de la vende. A potential audience of 2.3 billion households. The race became an international media phenomenon with over 730 hours of TV time. Another British skipper, Alex Thompson. The event was followed in countries that have no links to the skippers. From the US to Asia via South America, it seemed as if worldwide TV was shouting the adventure from the rooftops. As many as 20 channels even covered the start and the finish live. Absolutely unheard of. Social networks and internet were also caught up in the excitement. On more than one occasion, Le Vendée Globe topped the list of the most popular online subjects tweeted in France. There were 77,000 fans on the Facebook page, 137 websites around the world, 30 million daily motion supported downloads, and 486,000 virtual skippers from across the planet playing virtual regatta. This race generated a huge amount of noise, and once again, it broke all the records. Today, the Vendée Globe has taken a giant step forwards in its quest for global recognition. It has truly found its place alongside the world's foremost sporting events.